Simon, we meet again, uh, this time in TOCICO conference in, we are. in Florida. And I wanted to take the opportunity to ask you your, your TOC, TOC journey sure. up to today. You know, where did it start? Where are you now? Where are you going? Yeah, brilliant. I can answer that. Um, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, I work for VA Systems, as, as you know, yeah. I'm a global defence contractor, but I work out of Australia. Um, and the TOC journey started by uh, failing miserably at deep maintenance turnaround times uh, to the point that our customer was, was threatening the or else button. You know, what's the red button do? Um, so it required some change. Uh, and then the, the previous fleet manager, kind of in desperation, Googled um, uh, successful maintenance repair and overhaul and he found Warner Robins um, at uh, ALC in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and the paper called the Friends Awards Award study. Award. That's uh, US Air Force or US Marines? I think it's USAF, I'm not sure whether it's Marines. Okay. Um, but point being, they, they had turnaround times of about 40% on their, I think it was C5, C15s, and maybe the CH46, C Stallion, something along those lines. Yeah. Um, and by changing how they managed, um, they were able to get their turnaround times reduced significantly and far more reliably. So we really just followed what they did. Um, being a cynical person, uh, I managed to phone the, I literally Googled Warner Robins ALC and got the phone number off the webpage. Mm -hmm phoned the front desk and said, Simon from Australia, can I please have the PMO? And she didn't even understand me at first, but I got my way through, um, spoke to a gentleman, and because what I wanted to know was, the paper was written in 2006, 2007, this is now 2015, and there's no further evidence. So is it, was it a one-off, or was it a, a sustainable change over a long period of time? And the evidence they gave me said, actually, it does work, method is sound, be prepared for entropy and sustainment of change and plan for that. And if you do those things, you'll be fine. Uh, so we launched into a critical chain um, implementation supported by um, a coach and a consultant. And eventually we did purchase software, but I just want to stress software is not the solution. Um, in our example, I think it's helped make it a sustainable change. So it went really, really well. And as normally the way with these things, when it goes well, someone gets promoted. Um, I was very fortunate enough um, after we delivered 21 gets in a row on time, uh, when we'd never done more than four in a row on time, uh, to be given the opportunity to be the fleet manager for those 33 jets, and that was a good experience. Um, I then got project controls for all of the Australian aerospace business unit, and then project controls for um, all of the Australian business, which is about 220 projects um, with an order book of about a billion dollars Australian. Uh, but point being, once you see systems thinking, you can't unsee it. Yep. And it has changed how I fundamentally view the universe. And I'm, and I'm happy about that because it, um, I, I like what I see. Yep. I like the simplicity of it. I like the, the fact that it guides you in what to change um, and how to go about doing it. Um, and along the way, uh, just like Jim Carrey in the film Yes Man, someone said to me, hey, do you want to go on the board for TOCIC? I, like, yep. I couldn't help but say yes. <laughs> um, but that's brought me to where I am today. So here we are in Orlando, Florida. Um, meeting people from all over the globe, all industries, all disciplines, all with a common goal, which is how do they do a better job of improving their systems using theory of constraints. It's been really refreshing, it's been enlightening, um, it's only really day one, uh, and it's been awesome so far. But it's your first TOCIC conference, right? Oh yes. Yeah. Right, and um, so after day one, what's, what impact? Uh, what impressions? <laughs> The, the single line for me that stood out for the day was someone reminded in one of the sessions, I think it might have been Rob Newbold, said, <clears throat> remember when you're looking at a system and you're trying to improve it, remember that you're part of that system. And the light bulb moment came to me that said, well, that means you might be part of the solution, but you might also be part of the problem as well. <laughs> so it's a, a good reminder. Um, it, look, intelligent, articulate, thought-provoking, eye-opening uh, presentations um, for everything that I've sat through. I thoroughly recommend from an investment purpose, if you think about your operating expenses and you know perhaps your throughput return on investment, it's a wise choice to make. And is the networking among participants, well, with, with the speakers, of course, but among participants, I, I know you, you, you just met some people who have similar business, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. And no doubt you're going to be spending hours talking about comparing your experience, is that correct? Absolutely. It's, um, it's, it's funny because you hear common problems yeah. and common problems and common problems and you just go, hey, I've got the same problem as you. But the real benefit comes from you know, from the business that I work for is that when someone says, well, look, that wasn't invented here, okay, that can't possibly apply to us, 
you improve your network of contacts to say, actually, I know a similar business with a similar challenge, similar problem that got a solution. It's very similar to what you're describing. So I can reach out to that person and say, hey, would you mind telling your story to these people? So they understand, actually, they're not so unique, they're not so special, they're not so different. And it really is common problems with common solutions, Philip. Okay, well, thank you very much for that. And, Absolute uh, pleasure. We'll see what happens tomorrow, but no doubt it'll be more of the same excellent stuff. I'll see you in 2023. And 2023, yeah. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.